Hey friends, and I am back with um, continuing to work on the paper inspiration for my paper kits that we worked on a few videos back. So I'm going to grab my papers. I just bought all of them that I had kind of put together into some semblance of kit starters. And what I have over here off to my left are my photos. So I store my photos in just a photo box and I, I just reuse these folders that I printed off. These are from uh, Craft Some Joy here on YouTube. She's also on uh, various social media, Facebook, but it's Lauren Hines. And um, I love using these. I just, um, very inexpensive, not my favorite cardstock. And then that way it makes it a lot easier. They're like little tiny folders. I can throw probably not any in here, but I can throw ephemera in here as well. Uh, and just tuck that in. Okay. So here's my first paper. This is what I was thinking about just using, um, just with tags, like almost like a, a grid. Oh my gosh. My memory. Oof. Okay. So I like that I can use either side. So if I don't like the pattern or the saying, I can flip it over and use that. Um, but with these, I almost think I need like just to, to have like just one photo or smaller photos, if you will. Let me take a look at that. And again, I'm not, I'm not, uh, going to use every single tag. This one might work and I can just throw in a background paper. All right, let's see. Let me just look at one more. Okay. And then I have, I think I have one more somewhere in here that I saw. So sometimes what helps me is to just kind of ruffle through my printed photos. And that's what I did right before the start of the filming. But now, of course, I can't find it. <laughs> uh, not there. Oh, I should pull this one out. This one doesn't have a lot. Um, no, 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 no. Oh, I think it's this next one. Yes. Uh -huh. Yeah, no. The colors aren't going to go with that one. So we'll call this one good. And I just need to add... A couple of papers so we'll do about five of those so you can kind of see how i start my process so sometimes the paper is the inspiration i've done other videos and i'll try to remember to link the playlist for you guys i've done different starters so you can start with a sketch you can start with however sometimes i do like to start with paper because this is what inspires me and i right away this is why i have printed photos so anyway all right, so let's take a look at this one. Now, I do like this one. And see, part of, sometimes I can get in my head and be very literal. Because in my head, I'm like, oh, she's wearing antlers and they're snowflakes. But where she is, Christmas is in the summertime. And I do like the way this paper looks with this, but I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to hang in there and I'm going to see if I might not have another, another photo um, that I may want to showcase there. Um... I think, all right, I think hers is good. That's the wrong, the colors don't help that pop. 
All right. I have a gazillion travel photos to still. All right. I'm going to come back to this one. See if I might be able to find something. Um, oh, these two. Hmm. Let me see how this would look. Oh, I kind of like how that looks. Hmm. One of the reasons why I think I'm going to shift is because I know you can't tell from the photo, but he, this, I know he's wearing black, but it almost looks like a green and she's got green eyes. Hmm. Let's see. I do that shift I like it okay shift and shift oh hold on let me make sure because on these little folders I have dates for when the event was so I'm gonna go ahead so we're gonna do I'm gonna try to do like maybe five of these with you guys let's see hopefully i have enough variety in pictures that it will work Ooh, i don't know if i have any pictures for this but mm. let's see mm. All right, let me. Go to a different one. All right, what about this one? Let's see. I kind of like the way that looks. All right, I'm gonna put these in here. I, although this is a travel page, I do like how the pictures pop. How many is that? Three? All right. This was more in the spring, so I'm a little less. Um, all right, let's see. What else do I have under here? Oh, this one. photos I put this one together very specifically mm, is it this one yeah oh there's there's some, some mixing in here all right let's see
me make sure I have all of the photos. I'm missing one. Missing. Oh, I think I passed it and I didn't. I think it was for the same place. All right, I think that's it. Um, okay. Now, I need to figure out which papers I want to pull in for th this particular one. Mm. Just gonna move that over. I quite a bit here that I wanted to pull in. And mind you, I can pull them all in, but I want to I wanna at least know what I'm gonna pull in for this very specific layout. Okay, so let's see. These, I just pulled two of them in, but I know I'm only going to use that as an accent. So what am I gonna use for the background? That's a good question. <laughs> this with the pink and it's too close screaming at me like which one this darker one is this one shade or two? Oh, it's two okay hmm maybe use that okay I think that'll be that'll be one So this is one, okay, we've got one more to do. I'm gonna keep this one together just because it is going to be documenting and it pulled it out to document that. This was definitely gonna be a sunset photo. Okay. So let's pull Let's pull that one out. I don't know what that is. Whoa. <laughs> My neighbors are having some work done and it's very loud. Is it this one? Mm. Oh no, it might be this one. Okay. See what I mean? Should I spin it? Mm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look at that. Yes, a hundred percent. Yes. I have three of these. Oh no, I have four of these and I don't know that I'm necessarily going to use them all. Well, you know what? I'm going to put two and call it good. Let me just see if there's, oh yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. So I'm going to put two of these, some weight because this paper is flimsy. 
So there are the five. Let me just show you a little recap. So these are for the sunset photos. A little bit of a mess. These are for the sunset photos. This, these are for the pink Jeep tour. That was a lot of fun. All right. This is for that, the beach. Oops, I left one behind. This one is for my stepdaughter and her boyfriend. Here, these two. And then the last one is this. All right, so we just finished making up these uh, page kits. We've got to add some cardstock or um, just some background paper to these. But I had forgotten to say is that these, remember that these are papers that did not come from collections for the most part. A next step, once the page kits, page kits are done, paper kits are done, and I have selected my photos, usually that is that for me, the next step is to bring in things from my stash, things like stickers, things like titles, things like um, uh, different, um, different types of embellishments that will um, be cohesive with some of the colors that you see in the papers I've selected. So that is it for this time. And I sure hope that you'll come back and join me for the next video of where we will put together, hopefully, another five or maybe more um, of these page kits and match them up with photos. All right. Bye for now.